evening, afternoon, good afternoon. I do know it's 111. I hope you guys are doing well. Look, I want to share something with you really quick that just really lit my heart. Like, you can't even begin to imagine. So I, as I was about to come on, there was this really loud noise, noise uh, out in the atmosphere. And it's been happening for about 10 to 15 minutes as I was preparing to come on. So I just spoke into the atmosphere for the noise to stop. So I live on about two acres and it's a lot of land um, in the area that I live in and the neighbors have, you know, acreage and you may hear farming equipment and somebody cutting down trees, all kinds of things. And so some type of equipment was making this really loud noise like right before I came on. And guys, maybe 30 seconds before I hit the go live button, it stopped. And so that just felt really, really amazing to me because I just spoke to that thing. But and also, I want to take from that, right? This is just coming up for me now. Because oftentimes when we have something that we're setting out to do, initially it may appear as if it's not going to work or if it's not going to go well. And so immediately we just dismiss it. Immediately we just throw in the towel or we don't finish. Listen, this is just coming up for me right now. But what if you operated everything that you're doing from a space of possibility and belief? Like what if it does work? What if it does work? And so, I just wanted to share that with you. It just happened, so it just registered for me, and I'm so glad because it actually took my energy to you know a new space and a new level with what I want to share with you on today. And you'll see in the title, if this is your first time, first of all, I'm Tanya Wilson. I am a master life and business coach. I am your 3D God, your 3D coach. Um, I help women step into their personal power scale their businesses and create lifestyles they love and one of the starting points that I do that is by helping them tap into their true identity their 3d essence and building their 3d brand um, on today if you're with me put hashtag renew in the comments renew is actually the name of my brand renew full circle um, and so put that in the comments if you are new uh, put hashtag renew if you're catching me on the replay and if you've been with me for quite some time and you feel that someone else will find value for, from this uh, be sure to share this out as well and so how I ended up coming on with you today to even talk about this is because this morning I was working on my routine that makes you brilliant you may have heard me talk about the importance of building a routine that makes you brilliant one of the things in my routine that I do that really helps me to stay in alignment and connected to my, my servitude, my life, my daughter, the, the energy that I want to maintain, my feminine energy especially, and even from an emotional standpoint, is writing. So journaling, whether that's, you know, journaling things in my journal or ideas I get for content and things that I want to share with you that are so connected you know that may be a download that I don't want to forget and this morning when I sat down I wanted to take a deeper step into planning my new year now many people we're already in the new year right but um I wanted to take it uh, to a new level, another level, not a new level, but a, a different level. So if you follow me, you know that I began planning my new year like the quarter before the new year comes in. But a lot of what I'm doing during that time is really more of the feminine aspect of building a business. This is where, you know, your artistry and your vision and your creativity and all those things come through with ideas and um, all the things. And so as I'm moving along, those ideas become more concrete. They become more, should I say, structured, which is really, really important. 
um, it's actually a discipline. We talked about disciplines when I did the 3D brand masterclass, but it's actually a discipline that many people miss during this time of the year because you know this is the energy of new you, new year, new you, um, bigger goals, bigger aspirations. You know, making a list of all the things that you want to do. And so many people by the second week of January have began to fall off from those goals. And it becomes this recurring list. And then the, all the just the energy of holding on to all of that stuff can become really heavy and be one of the reasons why people don't finish, why people don't move forward into completing some of those goals and desires that they really have. And so on... One day last week when I was doing the free masterclass for the 3D brand masterclass, on the last day I talked about disciplines. And I taught it from more of a feminine aspect where your discipline is about you being disciplined in staying connected to who you are as a brand, especially with all of the external distractions, many of the things we see on social media, how easy it is to veer off from your 3D essence, right? From the vision that you actually have for yourself. I talked about being disciplined in what you say yes to and what you say no to, things of that nature. But most of that was from a, a feminine space, more of the, the spirit behind what you're doing, the energy, tapping into um, what's going to kind of keep you centered and grounded from an emotional standpoint, right? From an energetic standpoint. But today I want to talk about um, some more structural things. Not, not from a really heavy space, but because this is what I was doing, like defining, okay, for me. So each year before the new year comes in, I go into prayer about my business and my life and there's normally a word or a phrase or something that is really planted on my heart that feels really connected and aligned for me as I move forward into the new year and so that word use well not usually it because it's all up to me at that point but I use that word to look at my entire business and see how you know the activities that I'm going to be doing as the year comes in aligns with that particular word and so I'm not going to share what the word was I you know I used to do that many years ago and I'm not saying that I won't at some point or I never will but I'm finding that getting really centered and grounded in the things that are downloaded in your heart before releasing them publicly or to anyone else is so important so that you can calibrate to whatever that is and so that you can hold space for it without having you know any form of doubt from what people might be thinking or um, any responses or comments that may throw you off from where it is that you're wanting to be centered in order to manifest you know whatever that word or download or vision or whatever it is that you're setting out to do is and so I won't share the word but I will say that um, I, I do know for me this year is really about going deeper just going deeper not so much about creating more stuff but um, evolving things that I already have and so one of the my signature course actually is 3d success Academy and you know I was struggling with some of the uh, the 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 trainings that are in there not because they don't still work but because I've grown and I've evolved and I want to be sure that that energy is also in whatever it is that I'm releasing and so the Academy is a 12-month opportunity and there are modules and trainings that are released every single week and then live coaching at the end of each month but the, the trainings are there for people to access you know on their own pace and things of that nature and so this morning I when I was thinking about this aspect of planning that I really wanted to um, enhance or expand the previous work that I've already done with 
I said, oh, you know, I what I'm doing now for myself, the way that I'm doing it has evolved and I'm going to add it to 3D Success Academy. And then I said, well, where do I add this? So there's a subject matter that actually the very first part of it called Design Your Destiny. So that's anyway, that's where I'm going to add this new thing to inside the academy. And I began thinking about why people fall off from their goals. And it's normally a, a few things. As it relates to masculine and feminine energy, sometimes people are so into the masculine part, the doing part of getting the goals done and they haven't tapped into the more feminine side like how do you need to feel in order to make this happen now as I was sharing with you about a routine that makes you brilliant my routine is very much about the energetics who I need to be how I need to feel in order to stay in alignment with the things that I deserve one and that I desire and especially as I'm sharing my work, the, the body of work that I've created and supporting my clients and my daughter and, you know, people that I love, there's a certain type of energy that we need. It, it just doesn't come across the same when we have hurried, rushed, frustrated, overwhelmed type energy. It, it just doesn't. The, the energy is completely different. And whenever we don't tap into the feminine energetics of building the business oftentimes it is done from this very harsh space where we're just doing 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 which often leads leads to overwhelm it often leads to overwhelm and then the other scenario that sometimes happens with you know not completing or finishing goals is not having the masculine energy so everything is free flow and spontaneous and you know inspirational and you know all the things everything is from that space and our feminine energy is so creative that it needs containers right it, it needs containers so containers are actually what I was doing to the planning that I had already done and I'm going to talk more about it I'm actually going to um, host an extension to design your destiny uh, for four days this month and it's an opportunity for those of you who may be saying I'm not getting these goals done this this is a cycle for me I write things down you know I start them I'm not finishing them or you may say you know I'm free flowing and I get downloads and I act immediately on those downloads but it's something's not Connecting. There's a word I want to share with you called conflux. Conflux. And what conflux means is to merge together, right? It's to actually be in a flow state when two things come together. And when I talk, when I've been sharing with you in previous times about masculine and feminine energy as it relates to either you just in your personal life, but for this particular um, training, for your business there has to be a conflux between those two things the one doesn't work without the other and so for me it, it meant things like deciding when I would share certain things doesn't mean that part is like fully fleshed out because I, I don't get like super rigid with it you know it's more bullet point type things but when um, also, what marketing is, is aligned with it. Um, my daughter is graduating this year. There are a lot of um, events that are happening as it relates to her graduating. There are different trips and um, special moments and times and things that I want to plan. And all of this needs to conflux together. And what I find is many of the desires that we have don't come into fruition because we haven't created the the energy one, the proper energy, whether it's our masculine energy, which is our do energy, it's needed, or the feminine aspect, the, the creative aspect, the part that really comes 
from our heart and from our center that really actually connects with people that we're wanting to support out in the marketplace or in the world. Most oftentimes, there's no congruency or conflicts in those two things. I was, so one of the things that I love, love, love to do is cook. It's not everybody's thing, but I really love cooking. I, I remember a season in my life where there wasn't a lot of enjoyment around cooking. It felt more like a task. It felt more like something that I had to do. And because that was the energy behind it, um, I, I get overwhelmed with, with it really, really easily. And so there are three things that I realize as I go back and analyze, like, why does something that I actually love or that I actually enjoy doing or that I really want to do, why is it feeling this way? Number one, I needed a new level of organization. I need you guys to hear me. I needed a new level of organization. So now my kitchen cabinets are super organized. All of my plates that are of like kind, color, texture are in one location with, you know, the organizers, the metal organizers that you stick the plates in underneath my cabinets. My, the tops to all my pots and pans are in organizers as well. You know, everything is really organized. So when I go to cook, because cooking is so therapeutic for me, the process is just easier. I hope this is making sense. I hope you guys can tie this in to some of the goals and things that you're desiring, whether it's a health goal or um, launching your business, developing your program, growing your business, scale, whatever it is, hiring staff. The organization part is the container for the idea that you have. I created this vision of how I wanted my kitchen to flow and it just helps so much with with my energy and so I also told you guys that organization was not my strongest point at a season in my life but I understand that every new level of freedom that I'm desiring requires either more of my feminine energy because there's a lot of resistance because I'm either being too masculine about it or it requires more of my masculine energy like containers, um, systems, things that can support whatever it is that I'm wanting to do. Those goals that you're desiring, they need a level of support for some of you. Like if it's a health um, goal that you have, it could be a, a trainer or coach that you need that provides that level of support to hold space for you while you're completing and finishing that that particular goal that it is that you have it could be the preparation needed uh, getting different foods in advance you know pr preparing putting your workout clothes out the night before sneakers by the door all the things because so often we have these and they become lofty but it's something that we've created from uh, oftentimes our feminine energy from a place of desire and creativity. We have these goals, but they don't have structures to them. And so I am going to just add a more evolved version to my Design Your Destiny program. It is a four week program, but I am going to do a live training for four days that is in alignment with and I'm I really need something to drink here I know what's happening maybe it's a little stuffy in the room but I'm going to do a four day live training for those of you who want things to be in conflict in flow you want things to merge more in your business you not only want to start a lot of things but you want to finish I created an amazing framework. Um, it was originally, it's, it's actually one of my best selling programs. It was originally Slay Your Plans and Profit. It is now Design Your Destiny because I'm evolving. And so in the space that I'm evolving, my brand evolves as well. But I wanted to invite you in. I am going to open that enrollment. Well, for those of you, if you 
were to choose to, to start today, you could start today with the program that's already created. You will also get four additional days where I will go deeper in the concepts of vision and planning and decluttering and the preparation needed to finish what it is that you've started. If this sounds like something that resonates with you, something that you're interested in, um, the Destiny by Design course is $1,111. There are payment plans that are available, but it's also housed inside of 3D Success Academy. And you may decide that you just want to join the Academy. If you want to join the Academy, you can still join the Academy and also get those four additional days and the monthly you know, coaching call that comes with it. You still get access to the program immediately. But I wanted to come on today because I felt led. I felt that this is where people are struggling. They either have the masculine part down pat, I'm just going to go do it. But not the energetics, the feminine energy that's aligned with it, that gives them the space to really connect to what it is that they're doing. And I wanted to really teach on that level as I have, have evolved. It's important to me that, you know, every aspect of the transformation that I am having uh, in, inside my own 3D brand is also transferable to those who come and do work with me. Now, if I left that course exactly how it is now, absolutely powerful you will get transformation this is just me simply wanting to serve from a new level and I thought well if I'm gonna record more then I'll invite some people in so um, that we can have that collective energy as I'm teaching the new higher versions of planning and um, goal setting and really connecting um, or creating a conflux where not only your business desires but your life desires the things that you desire to happen in in your lifestyle how do you want to feel this year where all of this conflux merges together right so that you not not no not only so that you not only create a business and a brand that you love but a lifestyle that you love as well that's super important to me uh, I believe we spend a huge amount of our personal power building our business and I just believe we get our whole life right but it's only when we're intentional it's only when we're finding ways to merge all of those things that we're desiring I even thought about my daughter's uh, the the trips and, and things that I want to take her on prior to graduation or the summer leading up to her going off to college and how do we want to feel before we go to to you know those different events what's transpiring in my business do I need extra downtime before this happens all of those intricate details are so important because how you feel is how you build how you feel is how you build so my question to you today is what would it be like if you finished? What would it be like if this year you became intentional about really becoming who you need to become, creating the brilliant routines and having structural plans, not just random things that you've thrown out there as you are operating in your feminine energy and coming from a space of imagination and desire, those things are super important, super important. But I want to be a catalyst for changing some of the statistics about people getting to the second week of January and falling away. I have used the same system that is inside Destiny by Design that I'm going to be building on top of right from an evolutionary space for many years it is the thing that allowed me when I owned a brick-and-mortar service-based business and I was working 10 hours to not only build that business and run a staff of 12 but make it to all my daughter's events um, you know lead my team 
and also build a new business at the same time. And so I use these concepts over and over and over again in my own life. Um, when I'm working with my clients, it's always a space of renewal, like reading a really, really good book for the second time and seeing things that you actually didn't see before simply because you've evolved and you are operating from a, a different level of consciousness. So even what you see um, and even what you do has a, a fresh perspective. Uh, that's what it's like for me each and, each and every time I use this particular framework. And so I want to, if, if you're interested, if you feel led, if you're like, yeah, I want to take this journey. I want to take these things that I'm planning and give them containers or give them some feminine energetics in order to to finish right and to finish in a in a way that that feels good and is aligned and is not coming from a place of overwhelm or or desperation that's my take on today for those of you who you do want to do this i am going to host that i'm trying to remember the dates that i wrote down I'll write it in the comments and I'll also leave the link in the comments for those of you who, you know, you really want to design your destiny and you don't want to just write it, but you want to be in alignment in a way where you also have tools that say, I get to finish this, right? What would it feel like? What would your life actually look like if those things that you're putting on your list were things that you get to complete? That's my take. You guys have a super amazing day. Um, well